Shopify has announced newer customer events and now this is how we are going to track all of the events. All we have to do is go to the settings of our Shopify store. To go to the settings, click on the bottom left corner button which says setting and then scroll down to the customer event section. Once you're on the customer event section, click on add custom pixels on the top right corner. Let's rename this pixel to meta page view data layer since this is for Facebook page view event and let's click on add pixels. This setting is really important, so make sure that the permissions are set to not required and data sale is set to does not qualify as data sale. Now we have to add the code for this section. You can get the code through the link that has been provided in the description of this video. Once you click on the link, this will take you to the blog post. If you will scroll down, you will find all the code snippet that we need. Let's just copy the code snippet, go back to the Shopify store and paste the code right here. Now this is the first step that we have successfully completed. The next step is adding Google Tag Manager container code on this customer pixel section. If you will scroll up, you will see that there is already a base snippet available for Google Tag Manager. The only thing we have to update is Google Tag Manager ID. To get the Google Tag Manager ID, you can go to tagmanager.google.com and click on this ID right here. Let's copy this ID and go back to our Shopify store. Let's replace this dummy ID with our own ID. Great. On the top, you can see a button which says Save Changes. And now you can scroll all the way up and hit connect. Once you will connect this pixel with our Shopify store, we should successfully see the page view event on our data layer. Before moving to the next step, let's just verify if the page view event is working properly. So let's go to our Shopify store front end and right click on the page to hit inspect the code. Once the code is in inspect mode, you can go to console. And this is where you can see a page view data layer event has fired. This has all the additional details about the page details as well as user information such as user ID. Using the old Google Tag Legacy Assistant extension, you can also see that the Google Tag Manager container is properly firing on the website. Perfect. Now we can move on to the third step, which is adding the Facebook Pixel configuration tag. To add the configuration tag, we have to go back to our Google Tag Manager container and create a new tag. Since this event for page view is going to fire on all the pages of the website, so let's create a new trigger. We are not going to use the trigger which is all pages, we are going to create a custom trigger which is being fired on the data layer. So let's click on the plus button and then select event data. Let's call it page underscore view. And let's rename this one as custom event page underscore view. Great. There are two options to add Facebook pixel tag. We can use custom HTML tag. However, I don't usually recommend this one. I recommend using the Facebook pixel template tag that is created by Simon Ahoa. So let's go to the template gallery and search for Facebook pixel tag. On the top, you will see a search option and let's search for Facebook. The tag we are going to use is this Facebook pixel tag by Facebook archive team. Let's select add to workspaces and click on add. Great, now the Facebook tag has been added. The only thing we need here is the Facebook Pixel ID. You can get the Facebook Pixel ID from your Facebook event manager. I'm going to use this demo pixel, so let's copy this ID. Go back to our Google Tag Manager container and paste the ID right here. What I'm going to do is create a constant because I love constant and it makes things a little easier in management part. Let's rename it Meta Pixel ID and hit save. We don't have to update any other settings. Let's rename this as meta configuration tag and hit save. Great, we are completed with the third step. Unfortunately, we won't be able to test this tag using the preview window, so we have to submit the changes. So let's rename this version as tracking academy meta page view event. And now let's just click on publish changes. Once the changes has been successfully published on the website, we can go back to our Shopify store and go to the front end again. If you are using a helper extension, which is called Facebook Pixel Helper, which looks something like this, you can see a page view event that is firing on this page. And you can also see the page location URL, which is also accurate. This is how we have successfully tracked the Facebook Pixel page view event using the newer customer Pixel and Google Tag Manager. If you also want to test the same thing on the Facebook Events Manager, you can go to Facebook Events Manager and then switch to Test Events. Once you're on the Test Event, click on the Website Events and then enter the page URL. Let's copy the page URL from the browser and go back to the Test Center and click on Open Website. Now, if we are on this page, we will be able to see the page view event on the Test Center. Let's also go to a two different pages so we can see multiple events. So now I am on the contact page and now let's just switch to catalog page. Now we have switched three different pages and if we go back to the events manager, we can see that the browser pixels are firing and we have received the events from the page URL and then we have also received the events from the content page. 
If you want to see how to track add to cart event on Facebook Pixel, click right here.